What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Lee Random, and today we are doing another roomy. And I, I really don't know if I keep saying this every video. If you've never seen another roomy and I video, we have a playlist, and it should pop up like at the end of this video. I don't know, but um, I keep saying I don't know if it's roomy and I or roomy and me. Because I feel like I could go either way, like roomy and I, because it ends with an I, or roomy and me, because it's M I. Which, if it's roomy and me, I could go back and change all of the uh, me's, M E's, to M I's, because I think that's pretty neat. But it could be roomy and I. So, anyway, roomy and I is a segment on my channel where I open up to a random page in my Wisdom of Roomy guided journal. And then I read a poem to you, I ask you a question, or usually I ask you the question, read the poem to you. Um, so read the question again and then give you what I wrote way back when and give you an updated thought process on that question. Um, and so, yeah, so today we're going to do that again right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I don't know if I put the intro earlier in this video or not but you know it's just something fun to do like it's like concrete content Ooh, I feel like I've already done this yes I have this is called wake up my dear heart and it talks about what dreams or ambitions do you have that you've been putting off so I believe that that it came up for a reason someone should look at my Rumi and me um, videos and find the what dream or ambitions that I've been putting off uh, page okay or the video um, let's see Mm. Next there's if you don't have, uh, how does this poem inspire you? I literally did if you don't have like yesterday. So we can't do that one again. Wow, there's so much. There's so much that I've like already done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's so much that I've already done. Let's see. I'm so close to being done with this book and I didn't even realize that. Um, okay, we got one. Okay, it's I am happy with a wine. I am happy with a wine. And the question is, where and or when do you feel most at peace? And I want you to answer this down below while you're listening to my poem. You don't have to, but I think that would be fun. Uh, I am happy with a wine. I am happy with a wine that has no cup. I shine every morning and enjoy myself every night. They say you will end up with nothing. I am happy with no end at all. Again, the question is, where or when do you feel most at peace? And I responded, I feel the most peaceful when I am laying in bed and reading a story. I feel at peace when I just exist and not interact with my own thoughts. I feel peace when I am showering and singing until my throat gets sore. I feel the most at peace when I am studying. I feel peace when I am asleep. I feel peace when I am alone. I feel peace anywhere I allow myself to wish I had more to say. But the reality is, I just don't know what else to say. But one day I will. XOXO. XO. Aaliyah Denise. And I wrote this back the 12th. No, I wrote this back December the 11th, 2022. So right now, um, I think the December 11th of 2022, this was when I was already overseas, I do believe. Um, and this is quite recent. I think I could say that I do still most at peace when I'm lying in bed or when I'm just existing. I do like worry though, cause like there'll be times where I'm having a conversation and I'm just there and I think maybe I should say something like, like maybe I'm being cold right now because I've had people where you're talking to them, you're enjoying talking to them and then they just stop talking. 
but I just run out of things to say and I've been running out of things to say a lot more recently and I think that that's okay like every time I I'm like oh this and this and that but it's okay though this and this and that but it's okay though that's how I feel I think that it's completely fine that I have nothing to say it's completely fine that I find myself speechless recently I felt at peace while I'm editing a video. I don't feel stressed. I just feel, I feel at peace a lot more recently. I started to tell myself that I'm not anxious, I'm excited, okay? And honestly, honestly, it's really, it goes to show, it's really what you tell yourself. I'm not anxious, I'm excited. And you just keep saying it anytime you feel a little pressure. And it helps. And it like you you look back a month later and you're like, uh, 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 uh. It really does help. Um, so again, that was I am happy with wine. Where or when do you feel most at peace? Please let me know down below. And if you feel most at peace when you are watching one of my Unitedly Random videos, let me know that as well. Much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, let, let me get my thumbnail real quick. Vimmy and I, Rumi and Oh, the awakening. Wake up. The, uh, whoa. We have electricity inside of our house now. We have so much more. You know, oh my gosh. Want to go on a tangent with me? Look. Look here, babes. The reason why we're so freaking stressed out is because we have the blessing to be stressed out. Boom. I do ascribe to that belief, and I don't think that is bad, right? But we have so much more stressors and people more so trying to develop themselves because we actually have the time to develop ourselves. We're not living in survival mode anymore. Thank God, you know? And as a part of that generation of, I don't live in survival mode. I don't live in survival mode anymore. I think that that's a blessing in and of itself. It's still hard. Survival mode is hard. Living is hard. Everything is not going to be easy, but it's kind of rewarding. Um, so yeah, that's all I got to say. Hopefully I got that done now. Anyway. <laughs>